know the doctor? Hey guys, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. I know my hair's crazy. I really don't care. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 21 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. A big favor to ask from you guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. By giving it a thumbs up, it lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like my stuff and it promotes my videos more. So if you support me by liking the video, that's the biggest thing you can do to help me out. It might be a lofty goal, but let's shoot for 4,000 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. By the way, if you don't know what thumbing up a video is, just down below, whichever side here, by my name, there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down. If you click the thumbs up, then that likes the video. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. This video that you're about to see was filmed two weeks ago, actually. In the past two weeks, we've literally been in the field twice. It's just been raining here. We haven't been getting flooded out or anything. We've just been getting consistent rains that are keeping the soil wet and preventing us from going out in the fields. So in the meantime, I've been cleaning the house out. I've put almost three weeks of work into cleaning it out so far. Probably got another week left. But once that's done, really exciting. We're going to have two videos a week from that point out. So really looking forward to getting the house cleaned up. Looking forward to filming more. And you guys are going to enjoy that as well. Okay, I've, as always, I've been talking way too much. Let's get into the video. Right now it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to get the Freightliner started so that can be building up some air pressure. And then I'm going to go spray. I got about 90 acres left on the farm I'm at. I want to get that done today. I think it's supposed to be breezy this afternoon. So I'm going to try to get sprayed off here this morning before the wind picks up. Dad planted till 2 in the morning last night. He got the farm around the house done. When he gets up, he's going to start planting again. See if we can get another 100 and... 30 acres or so done today. That'd be nice. I don't know what time the rain's supposed to hit later tonight, but there's a chance. Hopefully it doesn't hit for a long time. That way we can get more done. All right, let's get this semi started. Gotta check the engine oil real quick. Water's good too. Get started. Might help if I had the key. Found it. Here we go. That right there is 33 and a half gallons an acre of 32% nitrogen. The faster we go, the more pressure comes out of those tips. We're going nine miles an hour right now. It's a nice healthy flow. This field has half mile long rows. I burn about 120 gallons going one direction. When I get to the end here, the boom will start shutting off in segments. Watch, the end's gonna shut off in a sec. See that? The reason why it does that is because my boom is on six different segments. Every 15 feet, there's a section. And so when I get to a spot that I've crossed, it shuts off and that way I save product. I can also manually control them right here. The reason why I don't spray faster is because if you go too fast, you lose pressure and you're not getting your 33 and a half gallons an acre. The way the sprayer works, the faster I go, the more pressure it puts out and the pump can only pump so fast so if i go 20 miles an hour it's trying to put on the same rate as if i was doing 10 so that's pumping it twice as fast and it just doesn't quite have the ponies to do it and also if your tips are too small your psi will get super high and then spray will start leaking around all your hose clamps and everything else so you got to keep an eye on that and just go at speed the sprayer can handle oh that would have been bad Go up again. This field's all done. On to the next one. Now we just gotta wait for Dad to get here to pick me up and bring me back to the semi. Look how nice the truck looks. One of your viewers would look so nice in it. How's it going this morning, Cole? Dad's gonna back out the case, then we're gonna switch boxes on the seed tender, and then we're gonna bring that out to the field, fill that up, and then he's gonna bring me back to the semi. And then I'm going to bring that back here, fill it up. I need to get some new chemicals. And then Dad's going to go to planting, and I'm going to go back to spraying. Makes sense? Good. Dad's checking the moisture of this soil. We call this farm tabletop 
because it's flat. It's a really nice farm. I'm tired, but we're ready to go to work, guy. All right, let's go grab some chemicals now. I'm not gonna be able to finish the field I'm on right now with what's on the semi-trailer, so I might as well film full while I'm here. Then I'll be able to get done. I want to make another trip later. We're not gonna overfill them today. There goes Dad off to plant. Well, well, well. Today you got dying, Daddy Corn Star. It's about 85 degrees right now. In my air conditioning, decided to take a crap in the tractor. And they're talking pretty good chance of rain tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, possibility. So a guy is just gonna have to keep planting. I can complain. That'll just make me die sooner. Or I sit back and I just breathe real slow and hope I make it through the day. Uh, then things happen. At least the tractor's still going, the planter's still behind me running. So that's a big plus. We're getting out of the planter right now. I got these little trash whippers here. It's supposed to move stuff out of the way. Well, anyhow, we got one over there. He's got a bunch of stuff, stock stuck in him. So we're gonna see if we can get him cleaned out, which it's not uncommon to get sometimes when it's a little wetter, get some trash stuck in there. Don't take much to usually get them going, but once the trash is in there, it just keeps piling up. Okay, let's go on the back side here quick, guys. Yeah, we go back here on the back of these press wheels here. Gauge wheels. Gauge wheels. They're plugged up with dirt. So I'm going to try to get my screwdriver in there and get them all cleaned out, and hopefully we'll be ready to go again. It's just a little bit sticky yet today. I put my hand on the handle to shut it off too. It's been a couple years. I should probably grease the sprayer quick. Okay, all done, ready to go. Rip cord, where'd you go? Well, that's not good. I'm gonna walk home. We got about a mile to go. On the road again. I think we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. Got her fixed. Hey, hey, hey. It only took two hours, but we're back to spraying again. Beeping in the noise, that solid me. Some of you guys are probably kind of thinking it sounds like when you're at home and your wife is complaining to you. It just sounds like a solid me. And your mind wants it to explode. Well, it's my monitor. I'm a planter. I got some shutoffs off right now. Some corn that's already been planted, them rows ain't planting. So the monitor absolutely drives you crazy. That's why I got the earplugs in. I know some of you probably can't hear me because the sound of that stuff has taken your hearing away. That's why I'm wearing earplugs. And then I can't hear Cole the corn star yelling at me either. I'm a smart man. I don't know, I'm gonna have to have a talk with Cole, the corn star. He's got all these fancy gadgets he hangs his phone from, and the video camera, whatever. I gotta hold my own. What's the deal with that? So I'm actually holding my phone right now while I'm planting and all that good stuff, trying to pay attention to the planter behind me. I never take my eyes off of the monitors. That's very important. You always, always want to keep your eyes on everything. Focus to what you're doing. You might hit a tree if you're not looking. This field's done. This next field here, you gotta kind of sneak through this wooded path. It can be kind of entertaining sometimes going through here. But you really need to make it a little wider. Trees are starting to grow in. We'll just add that to the old project list. How's that sound? This was kind of my worry when I was coming over here. I probably should have walked back here and checked it out first, but that's the culvert. It's supposed to be covered with dirt. 
So either A, I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn around in here, or I'm gonna have to back all the way out. Not a big fan of doing this, but I'm gonna have to cut through the neighbor's field because I don't have any other way to get access to that particular section. I only gotta cut through his field for a distance. Oh, about 200 feet here. We'll do it right on the edge. And we're here. Three miles at 20 miles an hour later. We're ready to fill up again. Got about 700 gallons, 32% on me when I put enough chemical in for a thousand. So the semi's empty now. I gotta run back to the main farm, fill that up, bring that back down here, put a little bit more in the sprayer, go spray that chunk there. I'm hoping I don't have to fill up again. It's gonna be close. Dad's been planting all day. Cooper's been running the real disc. I've been spraying. This is a pretty normal day in the spring. Just run around with your head cut off. Now a little bit of a road trip ahead of us. Here goes time number 47,621,000. Hello, beautiful. Well, I was racing to beat the rain, and I did beat it, and of course, blue skies are coming now. Got done spraying 32% on that field, but it caught me when I was putting stuff away. I was only trying to keep it clean. <laughs> well, that's no bueno. Well, what happened was I had my roommate drive the sprayer home from the field thinking we'd be okay and he met a tractor and he got over just a little too far and he just got sucked off right on the side. Honest mistake, my fault, but we're gonna try to drive this down. Hopefully we don't flip the sprayer over. If we can't get it out, we're just gonna try to drive right down in this ditch. At the bottom, there's a decent spot to climb out of. Right now, the way he's trying to do it doesn't look like it's working too well. I guess lesson learned for next time. I was just trying to make it in one trip, but my fault. Look at that. We'll let him take it. That's kind of weird. That's me. All right, guys. Worst part of the video always is the end. I know not the longest, but I didn't want to splice together a bunch of random clips that were a week apart from each other. So this is what we're going to work with. As always, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video, guys.